Hey guys, Games for Life here and in today's video we're gonna build an Astronium farm. This is a simple strategy that will get you tons of Astronium and you can repeat it endlessly, basically giving yourself infinite Astronium. And yes, you can do this on any planet you want. Now let's focus on why we need Astronium. And if you don't know, this video will be part of a playlist called Automation. It's a playlist where I will be adding all of the videos about stuff like this, such as the Infinite Scrap, Infinite Bytes videos, stuff like that. They will all be in that playlist. It should already be on screen, so go save it so you can watch all of the videos later. But right now let's talk about Astronium. So if you go to the trade platform, you notice there's another thing here for Astronium. You can basically use Astronium to get any of these things. So exoships, packagers, solid fuel jump jets, dynamite, hydrazine, portable smelting furnaces and gravity globe. In this instance, I need Astronium for the portable smelting furnaces because I only have two of them right here and I'll need a lot more in preparation for some upcoming videos I'm really excited about. So yeah, the short version is Astronium is very important, you need a lot of it, so here's how to get it. Now obviously you'll need a rover with a drill and a paver in order to reach the Astronium, which is in the core layer of each planet. We already have a road down there, which goes all the way to the core, so it should be pretty easy to find Astronium today. Then you need an auto extractor, obviously. I've also got an auto arm, a platform for the auto arm. Then we've got a platform for the resource canisters to sit on. We've got three resource canisters right here. And we can add more afterwards, if we want to. We've got some copper just for extenders, because we've also got a rail going all the way to the core, so we'll be routing power from there. And then here we've got the medium storage as well, and a beacon so we don't lose our Astronium farm. Now let's get down there and start building it. So obviously if you don't already have a round down there, you should build one. It's pretty easy, it doesn't really take that long. Or if you want to, you could also build a railway, just like I did over there. And the rover is just flipping everywhere. Let's let's get it. Of the planet, because that's where you find Astronium. We are on Glacier right now, but it's basically the same process on every planet in Astronier. You'll always find Astronium in the core layer of each planet. The rover is getting harder to control the closer we get to the core. So let's tread carefully, we don't want to be flying through here because we'll crash into the core of the planet. That happened a couple of times before, so I'll be paying attention this time. Alright, so the core of the planet is right there. So here we are, we should be able to find Astronium on the ceiling like right there for example, but it's gonna be pretty hard to build over there. So your safest bet is just drilling sideways once you reach this place. And you'll find Astronium that way. That's gonna make it easier for us to build the whole setup and then it's gonna be easier to go back and retrieve the Astronium once the auto extractor minus it all. So let's go ahead and drill this way. Just like that. So right now I'm just looking for some Astronium over here. Alright, so we've found an Astronium deposit right here. This seems to be pretty big. So let's go ahead, place a beacon down over here maybe. I'll make it black. So we remember that's the Astronium. Now let's get the auto extractor out here, we'll unpack it and let's see. So we basically need to place it where this bar is almost full. So this spot seems to be a good one, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's as full as it's gonna get over there. Great, now the next step is getting the auto arm in place, so for that we'll need the medium platform. And we'll need the auto arm. Something like that should do. So basically we want to have it over on this side. 
let's get these links together. So the auto arm will take the resource that forms over on this side and then it will put it into our storage area which will be this platform right here. So this is basically going to be our storage area. Let's place medium storage as well. So the auto arm places the astronium over here and then the medium resource canisters store it all. So from these three we should get enough storage for 100 astronium, which this astronium node should be able to produce. So we've got 100 astronium just like that. Let's just move this a little bit closer, maybe. Yeah, so that works. We'll link this as well. So that's pretty easy, pretty basic. Now we need some power. You can go about this any way you want. You can place some QTRTGs directly on the auto extractor. You can build a separate platform with batteries, wind turbines, whatever you want. Or you can connect it to your base. Now, because we have the train tracks going all the way to the core, for us it's gonna be pretty easy to connect it to our base, essentially. So that's what I'm going to do, because it seems the more interesting option out of the bunch. Great, here's our rail line. Now all we need to do is build some power extenders and of course I left the copper on the rover so I'll have to go back and get it. Okay so I went back and got the copper, now let's craft our power extenders. I really hope we've got enough because if we don't we'll have to go back to the base and get some more copper. But these should be enough, at least in theory. We've got 20 extenders right here so now all we do is we connect them to the base and I think this works best as a time-lapse, so that's what I'll probably do. And we're out of extenders, so of course this wasn't enough. I don't even know what I was thinking, only bringing 20 of these. So yeah, I'll go back, grab some more copper, and then I'll show you guys when we've got all of it connected. Alright, and we've got all of the power extenders set up, so let's give power to it. And now we can turn it on, finally. So now it's mining astronium. Once it mines one full astronium, the auto arm will grab it. We should actually turn that on as well. It will put it over here and then it gets stored in these medium resource canisters. This is gonna take some time, so I'll just go around and film some other videos while this is producing the astronium. It should only take a couple seconds for you guys though. And we're back. See, I told you guys it would only take a couple seconds. Well, in fact, it was more like two hours for me. But that's okay because I filmed some other videos in the meantime. So we've got 100 astronium right here. But it's actually 99 in these canisters, so I'll take one more from here. So we'll go ahead, take these to the train. And then we'll set it up in the base. We'll empty these canisters onto some medium storages so that we can see exactly how much this is. I mean, that should look great for a thumbnail, right? At least that's the idea. And we've got all of them on the train. Now let's turn it around and we'll head right back up to the base. And here we are, we've reached the base, let's stop the train. And now we can take our Stronium. We'll empty it out over here. And then we can bring the empty canisters back down there, so we can collect more Stronium. I'm pretty sure we can get 100 more from there, so that should be pretty good. Okay, so I'll just empty them out over here and then I'll show you guys how it looks once it's done. And that's what 100 Astronium looks like. So you can see how many there are right there. We filled up one of these things, which is huge. So there should be around, I mean, not around, exactly 80 Astronium on here. And then we've got some extra over on this side. So yeah, that's how much Astronium you can get in just two hours, I think, using this strategy for mining Astronium automatically. Let me take a shot for the screenshot right there. Nice. So yeah, you can imagine how long it would have taken us to manually mine all of this Astronium. But with this strategy, we could even do other stuff 
while it was mining automatically. So I hope you like this astronium automation and if you did then I've got a whole playlist dedicated to videos just like this one where I automate stuff. There's a scrap farm in there, bite farms, I'm actually gonna do another bite farm in the future, like a really big one, it's gonna be on Aatrox, so keep an eye for that. So yeah, basically save the playlist, make sure to watch all of the videos in there, I swear they're really cool. And that's basically all for today, I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers Astroneers!